Greetings everybody, my name is Card Gaming and welcome to Regalia of Men and Monarchs, a new uh, tactical role-playing game that is under construction right now. This is a beta version, very early access build that I wanted to check out because it really reminds me of uh, the old Fallout, or not Fallout, the Final Fantasy Tactics game. And I really like the art style that I've seen so far. So, let's check it out, shall we, with a new game. Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the Great House Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. That looks kind of kind of great, I gotta say. Nice little storybook intro, and we do have a uh, little peek of what's to come. Motivated by his dying father's unexpected last words, our hero ventures out to the Rish Rashatil Expanse, to the kingdom of Ascalia, to realize his royal birthright. Alright, so we got a uh, nice little tutorial here. My name is Gwendolyn Lauren. I guess that's one of my sisters. And I guess it's I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor and at least try to read these pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. Alright, so we can navigate through dialogue by clicking. We can set dialogue to unfold automatically. So it's sort of like a uh, visual novel, sort of? Almost! In that sense. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. Click. Oh, that's nice looking. So like a hand-drawn slash cel-shaded style? Justice! Also, I like the um, character drawings right here. Wait, but that's not our hero. No, that's someone named Griffith. Who is that? Oh, that's our hero. He doesn't look very happy. This is our hero. Cheer up, Kay. I can't feel my legs. Slightly less heroic looking than his guy friend here. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. <laughs> this place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. So if I press A, is it gonna like fast forward or is it gonna pop automatically like in a good rhythm? Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. It seems to be good. Well... Oh, here comes the sisters! So that is the brainy one and this, I think, is gonna be like the terrible, adventurous one. Dump. Glorious kingdom. My ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. She reminds me of Riku from Final Fantasy X. Well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. And she reminds me of, like, uh, Quistis from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Free roaming tutorial! So we can run around, 
and click on people and we can pan the camera cool all right we we can run if we double click so we have a few options to go through we have elaine to talk to we can go to the town and the town and the town we probably want to talk to elaine first though run over there gwen may complain but she was very keen on coming here too right <laughs> It'll be okay, trust me. Good things are rare and easy. I'm not even gonna try to uh, make a girly voice for her. Never. Also, we do have the things to uh, look for. We have a calendar up here. So this is probably gonna be like timed events. Also, maybe we can swap through uh, different characters as well later on. Then we have a game menu. A character sheet. Information about the ch chosen character. We can swap equipment. We can check out our perks that are shared between your characters. Interesting. And then we can open up perk selection menu as well as gain more perks by leveling up. You can change your perks here. All right. And weapons and trinkets. And we got level one party. So Griffith is our chosen character, but I thought we were with K right now. I guess they are a pair. So, let's fill this slot up with a... No, no perks yet. I guess we gotta go through the tutorial or something before we can do that. No trinkets either. Then we have the inventory screen, we, which we have nothing in. We have the quests to go to Castle Lauren. Personal bonds. So there's sort of like a um, social dynamic to this whole thing. Relationship points to unlock unique benefits related to the character in question. We get it through spending time. Okay. So it's sort of like... Um, I never played it myself, but I heard good things about the Persona games. Sort of like a... Almost dating friendship aspect to things. So if we get acquaintance level with Griffith, we get a morph perfect strikes. Pinpoint strikes now cannot miss or be dodged. Neato. Then we have a uh, town map, I guess. This screen displays a list of all constructible buildings. Oh, we can build stuff as well. That's amazing. I like it already. So we can build our little settlement up when we have unlocked that. We have Dialac, which I guess is the coins, components, gemstone, and glimmer. Alrighty then. Can I check building details? So this is what I need to upgrade the castle to level 2. And that allows us to upgrade how many partimums we can have when we're out adventuring. Neat. But we'll go through this later on if we keep playing this later. But what about diplomacy? This is the diplomacy screen. Here you can track your reputation with the neighboring nations. Luck with personal bonds, increasing your reputation will unlock unique faction benefits such as perks, faction re reinforcements, and even party members. Neat! So I'm guessing we're gonna be introduced to all these factions after this tutorial area, so let's go out here first and go to town. So, here's our little overview of the of the town itself, and our current quest is just to go to the uh, castle over here, and that is our only option right here, so let's get over there. Not much of an improvement. This is kind of a dump! Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys! Boys! She has her priorities straight. Check the chest! That is important! Master, such exquisite pieces of armor. Also, the weapons. Definitely the weapons. <laughs> She's enjoying herself. Aha! What did you find, Gwen? No, wait. Rat poop. Ew! I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on- Wait. Did someone drink something? That can't be sanitary. What's this big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. 
How many years has that been there? Tastes like dust and ashes, but you know, it's still tea, right? You're gonna have a poopy time later. Wait, what? That's kind of the face I'm making right now. You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn. Um. As in literal ashes. Um. My thoughts exactly. Look at those phases. Oh, shit. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> you, the one with the dire need of a haircut. What have you done to my remains? He kind of drank it. Is that all right with you? Well, apparently I have drank them. But where do you get the uh, moisture? I mean, you said you drank a tea. I just shouldn't have any moisture in them in an urn. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! Ooh, are we gonna get a combat tutorial? <laughs> yes, I think we are. How are you doing? Oh! A kindly old ghost man! I... what? Don't go what on me, son! You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... That a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. A respect? But... Oh, <laughs> So you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. I mean, looking at his attire and this massive uh, ruby or whatever, he might be one of your forebears, or at least some sort of high-ranking official. That would make me your grandfather. Yes. The Cineralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier and, you know, smarter. And ashy stuff? Big no no. Rocky start, my boy. Yeah, gotta give him that. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son! We Laurens are proud folk! And this... This... Oh... Uh, oh... Uh, just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! That's what I said! You and me, Grandpa! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? It's kind of a dump, too. This ain't right! This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? I sure hope so. I'm not sure how long the game is right now, but I sure hope so. Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring... Uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer. I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts in ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But I must... Wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. Kay? Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ugh. Kids these days. I guess he just got overwhelmed by all this. Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. 
Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. That too? It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. No, we're not! What? We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. But we can rebuild it! We saw the hints in the menu! Did someone say House Lauren? Oh, I hear a nemesis. That voice is a nemesis. Yup! Evil scientist, dude! Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? And he's bald! I mean, I kind of trust him more because he's bald, a fellow bald bro. But I don't like his uh, companions here. Although they do have snazzy top hats. Or some sort of hats. How rude. To demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. I mean, he's bald and he has a British accent. He's definitely evil. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Yup. Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Oh, are we witnesses to something... nasty? Well, I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh, I feel combat coming on. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been confiscated. There weren't much to confiscate. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Oh, now I'm feeling more like a, um, racketeer sort of vibe. Show me. Which is a good thing. What? I like that game. How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? The what now? But... But I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Uh-oh. Ah! Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit. At least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. 
Your title still has hold in Brash till people respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have, rebuild this city of yours, revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <coughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? Definitely seeing some racketeer, reciteer vibes now. You're asking us to do the impossible. Monthly quotas? No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. Farewell, bald bro, who's totally not evil. But this is insane! You left one of your flunkies. The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. So you're gonna- oh, there we go. Oh, he's got a nice little nose there. A turd nose. Are you alright, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did- did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what, never mind. No, go on! How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it! But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Oh, no, it's kind of thrilling! I'm excited! Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Yeah, he could be a great advisor. Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he's probably the one who incurred it. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. Yay! And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. FUs. <laughs> so it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. We definitely need to uh, rebuild the town, get some cash flow going, maybe do some adventuring. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps. And we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crucy mentioned wars, crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't 
Army boy, like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. I mean, also literally, you're literally inside me right now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, God. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. Okay. Funny shame that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. There are gnomes! Cool! The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it! The business-savvy midgets! They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck! That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. When? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold, and you need gold, no? I do. We should recruit some of these guys. You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh... I'm allergic to dust. Oh, come on, I, I would have counted on you, Elaine. But I guess it's up to you, Kay. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> what exactly will we be cleaning? Oh, you know, simple things. Spiderwebs, rubble, dust mites. Oh, yeah, here we go. I would have figured there would be a combat tutorial coming. Whoa! By the gods, this one's huge and ugly. That's what she said. No, no, no. That's not what she said. Perhaps it is the broodmother of those things. I wonder if it flies. Are we really talking about this now? Just hit it. Hit it. All right. We got combat coming. I wonder if Elaine and uh, Gwen is going to join us. But I don't think so. We're probably on our own here. So, it is a tactical RPG, sort of like Final Fantasy Tactics and Tactic Advance and Tactic Advance 2, which I kind of loved. But let's deploy our troops first. So we got this grid here, that's where they can be deployed. We want to make our way around this little uh, couch thing, so we probably want to be right there. He has a sword. What do... Uh, oh, what does uh, K have? Also a sword, but sort of like a fencer sword, and he's got more of a broadsword, it seems. But I think we should stick together. Maybe we can, like, get um, uh, flanking attacks and such. Let's finish deployment. Who's first? During their activation, each combatant can both move and perform an action in any order. Combatants can move multiple times during an activation as long as they have movement points remaining. All right. That's cool. So we got a hotbar down there. We can choose different skills to see, and highlight to see its effect and cooldowns and such. Neato. So this is the uh, movement we got. I'm thinking it actually might be a better idea to... Um, can I click this guy? Yeah, to see his movement. So this is how far he's gonna go. So maybe it would be a good idea to uh, wait for a turn to get this guy within uh, combat range. So I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna move you up one point. And the same with you. Oh, that's not what I wanted. End activation with him. So these guys are now moving up. And this guy should be going up here. Perfect. 
The time is now. And now he's in range of Griffith. So get over here. Uh, I wonder if I can do diagonal attack. Doesn't look like it. That's one can. A taunt. He's also got a crescent strike. Generates 10% shield for each target. So that is an AoE. Dynamic entry. So that is like a charge attack. Uh, I want to go over here. And do one of these. 78% for 223 to 286 damage. No! Oh! That one seems to share a health pool with his minions. The Broodmother. So, I probably want to... Let's see. Are you going to be in range of uh, Griffith? Yes, you are. So if we move back one tile, close that, and move him. That should be good. Then we'll end activation there. Dust Cannon! Ow! Weakened? Dang. So that was a debuff we took. Health and Shields. You can see health and shield values. In Ugalia, health cannot be replenished during combat. Instead, combatants can gain temporary shields, which allow them to absorb incoming damage. Alright, what does K have? He's got Command, which buffs shields. Uh, if used on a target or marked on a enemy. He's got a um, range attack that I probably should have been using. And he's got a rend attack that slows 50% chance. Inspire. 30% chance to apply empower to an ally when they activate. Whatever inspire or empowered is. Empowered. Weapon damage increased by 25%. Pull yourself together. Grant 60% of maximum shield to a target ally and lowers all their cooldowns by one. So if I go back here with K and use pull yourself together for him, he's going to get a big buff to his um, shields. Just move away from him so uh, we are out of range of that AoE. Then you should be coming up right about here. Yeah. That's a good spot. That's good. Time is now. now, didn't I have Crescent Strike? We have Boiser's Command. Hmm. I'm just gonna go here and hopefully kill this guy in one shot. Yeah, uh, my minimum, as long as I hit, I should be able to kill this guy in one hit. Pinpoint Strike! Victory for House Lord. And I don't have any more attack, but I can move. I can probably not get out of uh, range of you, right? Come on. Uh, Actually, I can. If I go over here, I should be able to be out of combat. Or out of range of this one. And... Oh, he's popping closer. Or oh, she is. Dust Cannon! Oh, it only hit Griffiths this time. That's good. Now, let's go. do I want to go... Uh, let's see here. We got negative and bonus buffs. Debuffs and buffs. And we got current effects right here. So this is the battle tide. Generates one second battle tide whenever K uses a skill. At three stacks, all stacks are consumed. Granted either empowered evasion, ages, or fleets chosen randomly. To random ally for two turns. Neat. I could use my bang, I think. If I move one... Mm, I mean, I could just go hit it. What is the... Do, do you have a... Rend attack should be... Able to kill this guy in one shot. Or just a normal attack. I wonder if I get... A battle tide for just a normal attack. But just in case, let's use Rend. E. Take this. Down you go. Good night and good luck. And he got a battle tide. That's good. Now, do I have any more moves? I don't. The time is now. But I wonder if I can do one of these. How many squares is that? 5. 
If I get here, I could maybe do a battle tide or a dynamic entry over here, but I'm not sure if it has friendly damage. Uh, if it is an enemy, applies fleet and removes all negative ongoing effects. That could be good, but I'll also be um, within range of the AoE. Let's try it. I mean, it seems to be doing damage. I don't want to do damage. Do I have to do damage? 70% of base damage is physical. For each tile moved through. Mm, no, I don't want to give him damage. So I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna wait here. Dust cannon. Ow! But we're fine, we still have a lot of HP. Leave this to me. Now we have our bang attack, we have the command. But I'm gonna try to get behind the broodmother. Maybe I'll get a bonus. Oh, we should be able to kill her in one shot now. Yeah. Let's just bang her. <laughs> sure, we'll do it. Oh, we actually don't have enough. Hopefully, he's gonna be in range. Oh, we did it! We are right, victorious! Amazing! 25 XP! What is this place? An armory? That looks like a fancy armor. Can I get that? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. What? That? Uh, okay, coming. What did you find? What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Great! But why was that hiding in the armory? Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? Better than nothing! What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check, a direction, so to speak, which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... Get the armor! It's so shiny and new! This seems out of place. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Oh, is this gonna be like what? a magical golem or something? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordemar's knights like it gaudy. Lordemar? The kingdom of Lordemar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? Maybe they would appreciate given, uh, being given this as a diplomatic gift. The very same, yes. Why would a Lordemarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it. If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. I mean, you are the knight. You should be used to carrying armor. You forget something, Griffith? Hey, you're back. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Is this really the same hole? You really... Pulled out all the strings, or all of the stops here. Our thoughts exactly. Oh, but it's more than that. 
can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. That what sounded suggestive. Suggestive? What about you? I want to help too. How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I think she'd be a good sort of like spy thief character, maybe? I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him. Oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Oh, <laughs> but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. Tweet! What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field, should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Awesome! Can we go talk to them, please? Really? Yep, there's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro, I'll show you on the map. Ho oh, ho ho, that's excellent news. If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. <sighs> what exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady, a king's nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without the people, you're just an empty title, or a tyrant. No, oh, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. The respect of my people... Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language! Duty! Service! Loyalty! Riches! Power! Adventure! We shall forge bonds everlasting! This, I swear! Uh, yeah. What he said. Alright, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. Alright! We have a quest to complete. But, I think we're gonna leave it there for now. I really uh, enjoyed this demo thingy. I'm not sure how long exactly it is, but I think I'm gonna finish it off. See how um, far it is, actually. And I hope you guys are enjoying it, because I really am. If you made it this far and want to see more of this, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button, leaving a comment below, and sharing the video around to get the views up, because views make the world go around. As always, Thank you for watching, I will see you guys next time.